Well, in this tool house tip, we're going to wrap up our series on homestead house building techniques, and we're going to talk about thermal mass or heat sink. Now, um, thermal mass, obviously you can see this brick behind me. This is the southwest side of our house, and so it gets a lot of sun in the evenings, uh, late afternoons, evenings. So this brick really heats up. Now, in the summertime, not necessarily a great thing. I don't necessarily want to have hot brick. But man, in the wintertime, this works out really well in the sense that this whole area here around my driveway, uh, if I've got a sunny day, even in the wintertime when it's snowing, then I won't have snow collect within three or four feet of the uh, driveway. So that the brick absorbs all that solar energy and of course gives it off at night. So it gives a, um, uh, you know, a heat source there. So what are the benefits to that? Well, right over here, where I have a small test plot of you know, garden, if you will, I've got some perennials in there that I'm testing, um, that really helps. I can actually stretch out uh, their dormancy period before they go dormant in the fall because the frost won't affect them. Uh, I can get sometimes middle of November. I've had peppers last there all the way up till the end of November uh, because the uh, frost doesn't get to them due to the amount of heat coming off that, uh, that brick. So that's for exterior. The real benefit would be interior. Now I don't, again, these are a lot of things that I wish I'd have done when I built my house. I don't have a heat sink or a thermal mass inside the house. But if you can imagine, if you had a wall of brick or even brick veneer inside your house, and in the wintertime you allowed the sunlight to come through windows and shine on that brick, and even if it was a darker brick, even if you painted it black, it would be even, even greater. But just imagine how much solar energy that would absorb uh, in the wintertime, so at, at, at night that uh, heat is radiated off that brick and could obviously heat your house. So that thermal mass, that heat sink, is holding that heat. Now you see uh, a lot of other ways to use thermal mass is around your wood burner. You see a lot of wood burning stoves have, uh, have you know, lots of metal around them or some even have the big fire bricks inside of them, of course. That's to, to, to absorb that heat and to, to give it off. But you'll see sometimes people put wood burning stoves in and they'll have a brick veneer wall behind them. Hey, that helps uh, you know, with a, a firewall there. It keeps uh, sparks and, and the building material from getting too hot. But it also serves as that thermal mass or that heat sink so it can help radiate that heat. And I've even seen where people use uh, the same concept of radiant floor heating or whatever. Where they'll take um, a circulation system around their wood burning stove or their furnace and as it's, as it's burning and, and heating the house, they're circulating this water through these um, either tanks or, or the radiant system under their floor, and of course that gives off heat. So look at that, when you're building your house, again, if this is the whole point of these tips is for um, if you're gonna start building your house and you wanna be as efficient as possible to help save money so you can be a full-time homesteader, take these things into consideration because you can really curb your energy bill, your heating bill at least, if you take advantage of thermal mass and heat sinks inside and outside of your house. There you go.